According to a study done by the Lending Tree, South Dakota is known as one of the best states for veteran care, and the Fort Meade VA Medical Center is a big reason why. Adrian Carbajal met with U.S. Veterans Affairs Deputy Secretary Tanya Bradshaw after she toured the facility and discussed the goals for the VA moving forward. The Sturgis Rally brings people from all over, and many of those visitors are veterans. So the VA is using Rally Week to help reach them. U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs Deputy Secretary Tanya Bratcher attended Monday's event and highlighted the work the Fort Meade VA Medical Center has done to provide better health care services for veterans. One program in particular, the PACT Act, has been instrumental in helping veterans who were exposed to toxins while serving receive the care they need. We're going to be able to connect their, um, their presumptive conditions, so it could be bronchitis, sinusitis, rhinitis, certain head cancers, and be able to say, okay, you're in this location and you have this condition, and we can make that a presumptive. So we're able to increase their disability claims. Deputy Secretary Bradshaw noted that veterans have voiced displeasure with health care services through the VA in the past and noted that the VA will make it its mission to gain their trust back moving forward. What we want to do is bring as many veterans into our system, period. So many veterans had one experience with the VA and determined that they weren't going to come back. And so what we want to say is give us a second shot and if you're transitioning out of the military, come to us in the first place. Brad Sher will visit the Rapid City VA Clinic Tuesday with Senator Mike Rounds and participate in a closed roundtable with veterans. She encourages all those with questions to contact their local VA office and find coverage that best fits their needs. Reporting in Sturgis, I'm Adrian Carbohol.